Welcome back to the garage. Um, second side's all welded in. I've got to put the seat runners on. That's not going to take 10 minutes really. This side's on. All done. Um, today I'm going to turn my attention to the frame head, which isn't that bad. Um, I'm going to tidy up. Which isn't that bad actually. There's a little bit of welding here that somebody done uh, to codger repair. And the same this side, I've never seen anything so massive in my life. Look at the size of that for a weld. It's ridiculous. It's like one thing on top of another on top of another. So all that's going to get cut off and a piece sorted out. There's a little bit here which I found when I was welding up the corner. Uh, that's got to get sorted out. But other than that, it's actually really solid. The main problem was this cut in the frame here. Um, I've got to make a piece of metal for here to sort out the inner structure. And then I've got to make a piece of metal for there for the outer structure. And then there's a dimension here as well. I've got to make a piece that goes over the top. So there's three, three different pieces of metal. I did say I had the, um, the piece that I cut out, but uh, I don't. I've looked for it and looked for it and I can't find it. Um, I must have chucked it away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to square off this section, make it a bit easier to make. I'm going to square that off, uh, make a piece for that, make a piece for that, and then make a piece for that, all three, after a bit of a grinding down to make it look nice. But it's dead solid, so it's a good piece of metal. Uh, well, uh, I'll show you the process of that. Right, there's the first piece just made up. Um, fits nice there. Got a little bit to take off lengthwise, but just made the radius nice. Uh, it does fit nice in there. I'm going to give that a good clean down, and then I'm going to get some weld on it from inside, from outside, as much as I can. It's a bit of a fiddly place to weld. So I'll get that on now, and then uh, show you what it's like when it's all welded in. And it's the second part. Uh, I've tacked it in here because this is three mil thick. It's quite hard to bend in, in just your hands. So I've tacked it in and just hammering it along. And as I go, I'm getting it level. And then I'll just hammer and weld that, hammer and weld that, and then follow it along. And then it will just hold itself in place. So no hassles getting that one in. Uh, I'll show you that finished in a minute. Uh, so it's all getting welded now. Right, that part's welded in, so that's uh, that's one part, that's two parts. I'm examining this here, there is two sheets of steel. So one would have been this bent up, and the other one would be this on the outside. So I'm going to recreate that, so I've got all the uh, the same thicknesses of metal. Um, I'm going to make a little well, smiley face shape that's going to weld from here to there, and then weld all the way along there seamed up uh, and then I'm going to make the plate that goes over the whole thing so what I've been thinking of is I'll uh, I'll drill this plate and then weld through from there to there and puddle weld it so that it's all welded up along there as well um, nice and strong as it should be there you go nice and shiny too so again as always you make yourself a little template um, whichever way around that was and then make a piece of steel out of that which goes there which will get welded in now I'm just gonna I've decided I'm just gonna tack it in place put this one in clamp the two together and then weld everything in one in one hit um, I think it will help me try and get this lined up properly like backwards and forwards so uh, I'm gonna do that now I'm just gonna tack that in place and then I'm going to make this piece using the paper and card method um, and then make a little template and then weld it all together. Right, because this is three mil, three and a half mil thick, I've chamfered all the edges so that I can get my weld as deep into there as I can, make it as strong as I can. So when I linish it flat, I'll still be leaving at least three mil of weld in the gap. If I was to weld on the top, it'd probably stay on the top and I'd cut it all off. 
So that's what I've done. Uh, I'm going to weld that all in now, and then we're nearly done. Not a bad bit of welding for an electrician. That'll do. Lovely jubbly. Okay, doc. Um, that's it. I'm just going to shape this, weld the back, put those two plates together, and we're done. Frame head repaired. Uh, then it's just a case of cleaning it down again. Um, Cutting off these, which I'm not going to bother filming me cutting them off. Um, and I think there's no other welding to do on this. Uh, oh, I lied. There's this bit, that's it. And uh, that'll be one job done. I can then get on with uh, seam sealing it and getting some paint on it. So uh, there you go. I'll show you that next time.